You guys, what's going on? It is me, Kelvy, and today we are going to be doing a different type of video than what I usually do. And this video is going to be on how you can get better aim on Rainbow Six Siege. Now, aim is not all about Rainbow Six Siege as well. You don't need just to have aim, but it is very, very good to have aim. And these tips is very, very helpful in my opinion. And these are just from what I've gathered from me obviously playing the game and from other people playing the game. Yeah, this, these are all my stats. I'm currently champ 4,277 with a 1.6 KD. Well, it's not bad. Uh, rank 2.0 is a little bit iffy, so but there, there's definitely better players than me, 100%. But these are what I'm going to go over. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to go jump into a T hunt, I'm going to talk about the tips of what I'm going to give, and then I'm going to run the T hunt so you can see on how I will play. Right, so now that we're in the T hunt, here is the first tip is where to aim slash angles. Now, what I mean by this is what you want to do when you're aiming is always aiming at head level now an easy way to know where head level is simply if you go to a barricade that is a door you will see these little velcros let me get close and just make sure that these little velcros here this is head level so what you want to be aiming is always aiming at this point around here now you could probably aim a little bit lower for obviously recoil but that's what you always want to be aiming and that is a crucial one to be doing because obviously Raymond Six Siege is a one shot headshot. If you can get one bullet on their head, instantly won the gunfight. Doesn't matter what HP you want, doesn't matter nothing. So that is a very crucial one is aiming at head level all the time. So another one is um, aiming. Just generally when you're in, the, in sight, right? When you're in the building, you don't want to be sprinting all the time. What you want to be doing is always aim or always like all like this. I wouldn't even say even like this, to be honest. I would say just generally just, just aiming all the time. I'll say rarely unaim so you can just quickly uh, move around. Uh, again, that depends on what your sense is. I would just say generally just always be aiming and make sure when you are aiming, you are aiming in spots where they can actually peek out of. So don't be aiming like this and walk around the corner like this because you're not going to hit anything. Now, if you walk around the corner like this on the other hand and someone swings you or someone's on the barricade, you're going to be able to then get it. Now, obviously, this depends on reaction time as well. But if you swing like, swing around the corner with something always in sight, try and always pre-aiming where you're going to be. So, for example, barricade here, I want to be pre-aiming where the barricade is, if that makes sense. You want to be always aiming where the barricade can be. Now, don't, don't mind if you're aiming through the wall here, as long as you can actually uh, repeat that. And the second tip is practicing. Second tip is practicing. What you want to do is you want to always be practicing. So doing T hunts, uh, a quick match, whatever. T hunts are the best and team death match as well is an, also a good one. You want to just always be practicing. You're not going to pick up the game or start the game by the game and just be an absolute god straight away. Um, it's going to take time for you to actually get good. So don't worry about it. It's just it all takes practice at the end of the day, and yeah, just practicing, practicing headshots all the time. So trying to get aiming at head level all the time, a huge advantage. And also make sure when you do like crouch that you don't just leave it like this. Make sure you do aim up. So try and uh, get back up to crouch uh, head level when you crouch. The third tip is finding your sense. Um, what I mean by this is. Everyone has a different play style. People like slow sense, people like fast sense. I personally like a fast sense, for example, on here. But find whatever sensitivity you're comfortable at and don't be bothered what other people's sensitivity are. If you see someone with a low sense, what they're going to be doing a lot of the times is they're going to either just be holding angles all the time. What is this the best? They can't quickly spin around, so they're just mainly going to be holding angles. And a lot of the times, the slow sense are the good player, are quite good players. If you have a slow sense and just always holding angles all the time i personally like a fast sense just because of the fact that i can spin round quicker and get to that but i've been using this sense for a very long time so yeah find your own sense don't keep changing your sensitivity as well because that is just going to make your muscle memory not as good because the siege is a lot with muscle memory as well especially if you're a controller you want to be knowing how, how much you need to move your right thumbstick to get to a to, a to b and so on it's just a lot of muscle memory so keep changing your sensitivity all the time it's just going to mess with it and you're just not going to be able to aim as efficient my fourth tip is leaning now this is a big one especially for the low ranks i see a lot of people just lean spamming like this all the time in mid gun fights now what this is just doing is just hurting your aim by so much so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this wall for example and i say a guy's here 
and I am then swing out and then just lean spamming like this, right? Or just lean spamming. Now, look when I lean. So when I'm not leaning, I lean to the right, it moves where I'm actually aiming. Lean to the left, I can't see as much. So now if I'm lean spamming like this, it's just going to be in the center. Like center and going to from shoulder to shoulder kind of, right? So it's just going shoulder to shoulder. What you want to be doing when you're aiming is say you're right, you want to be centering. You want to be centering. You want to be peeking around corners and centering. Now I do this a lot. I'm going to throw a couple of clips on screen as well on me getting me playing. Is a lot of times when I do aim, I will lean to one way and then center. Now it really depends though on which way they've gone. So now they say they've swung to the right. I'm going to stay leaning to the right. If they're kind of still, I'm just going to center. If they then move to the left, I will then center up. I will then aim center up okay i'm keep pressing my back pad on my bad i'll aim center up and then lean to the left i will never just aim and then swing straight to the right because if i aim swing then center up i've got a better chance of actually uh, killing them so make sure you're just not like basically leaning like this it's just it's not as good as it used to be and it's just hurting your aim more than anything you want to just be basically lean around corners when you lean around corners as well uh, I, I always center up when I lean around a corner. So like this, I'd always just just center up. I center up and then, yeah. You see what I mean? Uh, five. My fifth tip, last tip, is to simply just warm up. Uh, warming up before a ranked game. Or first thing you do when you get on siege is just to do a T hunt or team death match. Team death match is very good just because it is against actual players and not uh, AI and bots. So doing a team death match is a very good way to warm up. But yeah, when it does come to T hunt, so I would recommend doing disarm bomb on coastline as there's a lot of AI. There's roughly about what 45 to 50 bots, and it's basically the actual game. As an attacker, you're planting the bomb. And then you have to defend the bomb and you go to a net an extra bomb site so you go to two bomb sites and plant it so what we're going to do now is going to run the t-hunt and i'm going to show you how you do so how i do it and this is normally how i'll play an actual game so yeah when i'm leaning around corners i'm always centering up if you see I'll, I'll crouch and then just i'll aim like this just quickly go to the left pre-aim center up then go back nice little smooth and simple lean like this Crouch, center up, and then go back. Crouch, center up, go back. Another important tip as well is when you're actually in the building that's either in T hunt or in the actual game, make sure you're always aiming. There's no need for you not to be aiming unless you have to get to like you're like the last one alive and you need to get to a certain point. You need to always be aiming. You're gonna win the gunfights a lot more quicker than just sprinting around. So see here, you plant the bomb, and now what they're gonna do is they're all gonna come after you. So yeah, 
So that's basically how it is. It's very hectic when you've planted the bomb, but this is what is really good because you don't want to be thinking about your aim when you're when you're actually playing in game. You don't want to be thinking, oh, I need to be controlling recoil. I need to be doing this. It should just be muscle memory, and you should just know how to do it without even thinking how to do it. That's how your aim can also get better. Not having to think on where, oh, I need to do, move my analog stick this plant this far. I don't have to move my mouse this far. You know what I mean? It need, it's all muscle memory. That's all you need to know. And the more that you don't think about your aim, and it just naturally can be good, the better. That's why disarm bomb is really good. Because it's very hectic, so there's a lot on your mind. And that's what you want to be... Uh, So you want to give it to him. And also another little tip as well for your aim is your position. Now this is kind of with the angles as well, but you want to make sure you, you have some sort of uh, cover. Now if you just wide swing and stuff, I did say, I kind of said it's about wide swinging it. No, I'm not protected by anything. Here I'm protected by the wall, which is kind of why I'm uh, quick peeking this door. So here, and that nearly died, had nothing protecting me. Now, this T hunt, it can be quite hard, as you can see, it's very hectic. Don't expect to just win it every time. So yeah, don't expect to actually win the T hunt every time. What it is, is to make you be able to snap onto target to target. And obviously I didn't do it, but I haven't really been playing as much as I did take like a two hour break. I, but what you want to do is run a couple of T hunts, about three of them T hunts. But run, run about three of them before you actually start. And then yeah, you'll be all good. It's, it's all muscle memory, Siege is all muscle memory. You've got to just know how to do it, do it without thinking it like i said it takes practice it's going to take time the more you do it the more you get better i have had a load of hours into this game i believe i've got about a thousand hours in just into siege on its own these people that have played longer than me as well and they're obviously better i've got a roughly about yeah 1100 hours into siege that is a lot of time that i've played into siege and obviously improved over time so not saying it's going to take you all that long but it's all muscle memory, it's all muscle memory. But yeah, if you did enjoy this video and any of these tips do help out, put in the put in the comment section down below and like the video. If you got any tips of your own, put them in the comment section down below as well. And uh yeah, see you guys later. Peace out.